the Volta Delta is a challenging place to live. Freshwater fishing has been affected by the construction of the Akasombo Dam. Whilst essential to create electricity, the dam blocks the downstream movement of fish, and the regulation of stream flow reduces flooding, which used to increase the productivity of fishing. Rates of erosion in the Gulf of Guinea are high, meaning that little land is available for farming. Farmers are also reporting increases in salinity, which means that irrigation is required. However, this is beyond the affordability of many residents. As well as being fewer in number, fish that are caught now are much smaller than they used to be in the past. The nets also pick up lots of debris, which means that additional time is spent sorting. With challenges facing farming and fishing, Delta inhabitants have to look elsewhere for alternative source of livelihoods. Men and women in Anyanui are also turning to the cultivation of mangrove as an alternative livelihood activity. Mangrove stems and roots are used as fuel wood by homes and is preferred by fishmongers for smoking fish. The Wildlife Division of the Forestry Commission, located in Anloga, is supporting mangrove farmers by teaching good cultivation practices and raising healthy seedlings for them. In processing the mangrove for the market, the roots and stem are cut, dried for three months and made into bundles ready for transportation. The mangrove bundles are carefully loaded onto boats and transported via the river to the mangrove market at Anyanui. At the shores of Anyanui, the wood is offloaded from the canoes and onto the ground where traders buy it for resale in other locations. The mangrove wood is used for various purposes. Some are sold as firewood to fishmongers. Fish smoked with mangroves have a unique colour, taste and a longer shelf life compared to those smoked with other types of wood. Households also buy mangrove wood for use in cooking. Whilst mangroves are proving crucial to people's livelihoods in the delta, they also perform an important environmental function and so must be managed sustainably. Mangroves are critical habitats for spawning and nursery grounds for fish and for brackish species including crabs and bivalves. Mangroves also play key roles in stabilising shorelines and reducing coastal erosion, which is a critical issue in the Volta Delta, and one that is likely to become worse with sea level rise associated with climate change. To ensure that mangroves are used sustainably, the Wildlife Division of the Forestry Commission is providing seedlings and helping communities in Keta Municipality to plant mangroves and nurture them until they mature and are ready for harvesting. If planted mangroves are harvested, then the naturally occurring ones can be protected to perform the environmental functions of shoreline stabilisation and biodiversity conservation.